Today, a sick passenger and a health scare at LAX. Officials are concerned because the coronavirus has been spreading. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sandra Mitchell. It's our other top story now on KCAL 9 News at noon. We're also streaming on CBS and LA. Travelers at LAX are being screened for the coronavirus. KCAL 9's Cara Finstrom shows us right now it's just a precaution because the virus can be deadly. I have the mask. I'm trying to stay away from a lot of people. Ellen Brady says this is the first time she's worn a mask during a trip to prevent getting sick. Whatever I have to do, you know, it's, it's pretty scary. Public health officials have been screening LAX passengers for the new coronavirus since a deadly outbreak in China. Now an airport spokesperson confirms one of the screeners sent a sick American Airlines passenger to the hospital for evaluation. He tells us the passenger flew in from Mexico City yesterday evening, but the airport has no information about their diagnosis or whether any family members or other passengers were screened. The incident took place less than 24 hours after county health leaders addressed the virus. There may be a person who's already here, didn't even get screened, uh, and still may in fact come down with symptoms, and we're prepared to make sure that that person uh, gets the treatment that they need so that they can successfully recover. At this point, L.A. has not had a confirmed case. The virus began in Wuhan, China. Its rapid spread has sickened hundreds and left at least 17 people dead. One U.S. case has been confirmed in Washington state and several in Asian countries, but all those patients visited Wuhan before the city suspended outbound travel. The folks we spoke with have mixed feelings about the potential threat, but said they're glad health leaders are releasing information that can help them make travel decisions. I'm not that concerned. I travel often to the Philippines, so, but we're going to try to avoid a lot of contact. And we did check in with both the CDC and local health officials, but have not heard back yet with an update on that patient's diagnosis. From LAX, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News.